Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make API requests with your custom GPT. Here's an example that I already made. It, it, it allows community members to be able to search up other community members based on certain criteria. And what the GPT is actually doing is going to the database using keywords, using the context and finding the right person and returning the right person back to the user. Here's an example. So I said, I need advice on funding strategies. And what it's doing now is talking to my spreadsheet. And what it's doing is returning people that might be the most relevant on providing me advice on funding strategies from my spreadsheet. Now we know what we're going to build. How do we build it? So you start off with, I started off with a spreadsheet using that as kind of like a, a sample database. And what you can see is I have a name, biography and industry, just to mimic some kind of details of community members. And then what I've done is turn this into an API. So I've used a tool called Sheety, Sheety, and from there, I've turned that into an API. And you can see, I, I just use the, the get method, but you could use post, put, delete, but I'm just using the get method for this. And this JavaScript example will be important, and this URL will also be important a little later. What you then want to do is to take this and put it into an open API schema because ChatGPT needs the open API schema to be able to make those requests. I actually have a prompt that I will link in the description that will help you do that. You might have to work with it a little bit because it doesn't always come out right or uh, sometimes there's an error depending on your uh, API, but then you just put that error back in ChatGPT and it fixes it. So what you can see here, is that it says you are given a JavaScript code snippet that makes a GET request to an API endpoint. I have my example, uh, JavaScript code snippet example. I tell it the data structure of the response and I tell it to create an open API schema for this API. What it then does is generate something like this. So you can see it has the description, it has servers, it has the URL, it has paths, it has everything you need. I believe this is mostly everything you need, or this is everything you need. And then what you're going to do is head over, we can actually do it here. So you're going to head over, you're going to create a new GPT. And in that new GPT, you are going to head over to configure. You're going to give it a name, maybe even a description, but the important part here is the action. So I actually uncheck those. I don't put no knowledge files and I go to actions and in actions, this is where you want to paste your schema. If I show you on this one, if I go to my action, you can see my schema has been pasted here and you can see it should look something like this if it's working all correctly. You have to put a privacy policy. Um, I just put a sample URL here because this is not a public, this is just for the tutorial. We take a step back. And then what I, I've actually done is use the, you can't see it here, but I have used the GPT builder to build out the prompt. So you can see here, the role and goal, act as a community member for a technology-focused founder community, facilitate, facilitating network and collaboration by connecting members based on their expertise and needs. I have a section about query handling, a section about guidelines, how to handle ambigu ambiguity, um, and I tell you, prioritize efficient matching without seeking any additional details and the communication style. So what it should do on almost every request is 
query that API that you told it to use. So I, I will might not sit something else. Uh, find me somebody that understands artificial intelligence. And something went wrong. Hopefully, uh, chat GPT is not down. But let's... So the same Cameron Rodriguez. And if we actually go back to the database, we'll see Cameron Rodriguez, Rod Rodriguez is, um, we have his biography, his industry is artificial intelligence, his specialty is artificial intelligence. Um, let's ask it another one. Let's just say what I want to pursue a path in cybersecurity. Who should I talk to? It's thinking a little bit. You can actually see that it's recommending you to speak to Morgan Rodriguez. And it actually says why. So this is how you make API requests using your GPT and your GPT builder. I'm looking forward to what you build with this information.